Hey everyone, second reading. Same as before, total amateur, want to learn how to use the cards. Cross referencing my readings with this. Shuffle the cards. Need to learn how to shuffle. Same as before, I'm going to draw six. So that's four. Two more. Five. Okay. First card. Judgment. Correct way up. Now let's see what judgment means. Fanfare of judgment sounds and its clarion, clarion, clarion call cannot be ignored. It signals an end and a new beginning. Firstly, this is a card of logical conclusion, an end to work or the completion of a long term venture. However, this is not a time for regret but for rejoicing. Your job has been well done and your con conscience is clear. Soon the rewards of your efforts will follow. You will rightly feel that you have done your duty and will be looking forward to the next phase of your life. It is important to bear in mind that although this is the end of an important phase, there are bigger and better things to come, so new opportunities will present themselves when this card appears. That's quite positive that one. Next card is Wounds. That was upside down. And let's have a look for the Ace of Wands.
reverse meaning. This card is so fortunate that it cannot really have a bad side. Hey, hey, result. However, it can indicate a delay in events or teach you that you are not quite as independent as you think. Consider your current plans as being perhaps too complex to be workable and simplify them and be more direct. The fiery nature of the card also warns against being tactless or obsessively single-minded. Third card, three upright, justice, judgment and justice. Oh, 11. We look for justice. The meaning of this card is self-evident. The card of justice means justice, logic, fairness and equilibrium in all dealings with others. It is therefore fortuitous for partnership issues. Justice also points the way to the giving or receiving of good advice and indicates that decisions made by powerful people will work in your favour. The card promotes a sense of balance and harmony of a cool intellectual kind. It may indicate the signing of contracts that will be beneficial uh, beneficial to you, success in all legal affairs and advantageous business proposals. Very good, very good. Also upright, card number four, and Knight of Cups. The arrival of the Knight of Cups in a reading suggests that you are about to meet a new lover or a good friend. His character is noted for enthusiasm, passion and amiability. Amiability? Yeah. He may be artistically gifted, poetic and graceful. He has an empathy with the feelings of others and is a sympathetic and understanding ally. This is good news because this card shows that changes in your relationships are now in the offing. These may worry you, yet all will turn out for the best if this night has anything to do with it. Often the card occurs when offers and opportunities of an emotional nature are on their way. Followed up by another knight, card number five, knight of wands or clubs. The Knight of Rods represents a traveller or a visitor from afar. It is likely that, has faced, that he has faced many challenges and has overcome them with the courage of a born warrior. This knight is generous, but he does tend to be hasty. So if you don't impress him within the first couple of seconds, it's unlikely that you'll get a second chance. However, this innate good humour should get you through this. The Knight of Rods proves a worthwhile friend and a firm ally. And card number six, chalice four, four chalice, and that was also upright. And the four of cups. There is a certain blindness associated with the Four of Cups. It may be that you have a lot to be thankful for, with many advantages at your fingertips, but for some reason you cannot appreciate what you have achieved. You may feel that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence or that life is passing you by. Equally, when this card appears, you may not even know that you what you really want. In relationship matters, this card shows a need for some extra excitement. A renewal of the spark of romance before it fizzles out completely. You need new input to fuel your interest and rekindle your 
I don't speak French. Guadivivier. Ah, I haven't done French since for secondary school. Okay, guys, so that's today's reading. Uh, if you have any advice, tips, anything like that, drop them in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe, all that. Uh, have an awesome day. Catch you soon.